Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about shield swapping. Shield swapping is a strategy that involves you quickly exchanging your depleted body shields with a fresh one from a eliminated enemy. This allows you to replenish your shields without needing the time or resources on healing items to get yourself back to full HP. This is one of the core staple strategies of Apex and something that you should know right away. In this guide, I'm going to show you a variety of different ways that you can shield swap on controller, specifically console. I'm also going to show you where to practice it in the fire range and how. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Before we go ahead and talk about the different variety shield swapping strategies, there's an important setting that you want to make sure that you have checked off. You want to go ahead and go into your settings and then go into the gameplay tab and scroll down into where you see taking damages, close the death boxes, or crafting menu. You want to ensure that this is marked off. It is on by default, but you want to make sure this is off. This allows you not to get shot out of your death box so you can shield swap effectively. So make sure this is off before we get started. All right, now that we got that important setting down, let's go ahead and quickly review what a shield swap is and what are the steps to do one. So a shield swap is when you go into a box, an enemy's box that has a full shield, and you're switching it out with yours so you can get back your shield. As you can see in this clip here, I am hurt and I'm trying to get a new shield. So what do I do? I go ahead and interact with a box and I quickly move down to the shield section and swap it out. The shield is always in the same spot. That's what allows you to do a lot of these strategies so effectively. You know exactly where it is so you can practice it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to practice it in the firing range. You may notice in the firing range the box looks a little different. When you go ahead and open up the supply box, you can see that there's only weapons in the front page. You actually have to scroll down to go to the shields. So as you can see, you can't technically practice those swapping a like to 100% here, but you can still can. If you may notice that the carbine and the Spitfire are in the same area where a shield would be. So this is where you wanna aim for when you're trying to learn how to shield swap. Now let's go ahead and talk about the most common strategy on shield swapping effectively on controller. And that is the jumping strategy. So you wanna go ahead and go up to a box and hold interact. So before I even go to the box, I am holding my interact button, which is X for me. Then you're going to notice a prompt is coming up and there's a circle coming around it and it's counting down to close the circle. When it's about to close the circle, that is when you want to jump. And this will allow you to go into the box while jumping and go ahead and move your cursor and get that shield swap off. I forgot to mention the reason that you want to go ahead and learn these strategies. Of course, you can still swap while without jumping or without doing anything, but that's going to make you a very easy target. As you can see in this clip, I am jumping and I'm dodging a lot more bullets if I did this standing still. I would recommend practicing this in the fire range. I can see in this clip here, I'm going up to the box, holding interact and aiming for the 301 slash Spitfire. You can also practice shield swapping by actually going to a battle road match and killing someone and just practicing there. This is probably the most effective way, but you also may notice that sometimes when you go to a loot box, they may not have a backpack. If they do not have a backpack, the positioning on your mouse cursor is going to be a little bit off. So you want to keep that in mind. Just a general rule of thumb, usually when you kill someone at the beginning of the match or early game, they're most likely not going to have a backpack. So when you're shield swapping, just know that you have to adjust a little bit when trying to shield swap uh, early death box. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the second strategy that will allow you to be evasive and shield swap while moving. And that is a double tap sprint strategy. You wanna go ahead and go to your gameplay settings and click on double tap to sprint. This will allow you to loot a death box and also sprint at the same time. All you have to do is go into the death box and while you're looting, you're gonna go ahead and double tap your sprint button, which will allow you to sprint while in the death box. Just to know that you have to go ahead and do the shield swap quickly or you're going to go ahead and get locked out because once you're out of range from a death box, you are pushed out of it automatically. You also want to go ahead and practice the range of a death box. Just like as you can see in this clip, if I'm at a certain range, I would not be able to interact. So that's very important to know. It's about three meters far away. If you also jump out of range while you're in the death box, it will also kick you out. Or if you move out of range, like if you sprint out of range, it will also kick you out. So using the double trap strategy or any other strategies that allow you to get out of range from a death box, you're gonna have to make sure that you practice these and you do these quickly. 
Now let's go ahead and talk about another strategy that is very similar to the double tap sprint strategy. And this is called bumping the box strategy. In this strategy, you must have auto sprint on. So again, you want to go ahead and go into your settings and go to the gameplay settings and go down to where it says auto sprint. As you can see, I have double tap the sprint off and then I have auto sprint on. You want to go ahead and run towards a box and you're going to be sprinting. But if you bump into the box and interact at the same time, it will allow you to continue sprinting past the box and allow you to still swap. In this strategy, you have to do it very quickly because you're going to get out of the zone that's going to kick you out of the box. So you want to make sure to practice this in the fringe range as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about our next strategy and that is the sliding strategy. You can also slide into a death box and loot it and still swap as well. This one also takes a lot of practice and timing because if you're out of air range, you're gonna go ahead and get kicked out of the death box. Again, what I like to do is I like to walk up to the death box and while I'm walking slash running to the death box, I am already holding interact. Once I know that the interact prompt is going to pop off that circle, that white circle goes around it, I'm clicking crouch as well, and then I'm switching to go get my shield swap off. You can also make this strategy super spicy by doing it off a of super glide. If you want to know how to super glide or don't know what a super glide, go ahead and check the description down below or the comment where I have my super glide guide out where I talk about many different strategies on how to super glide and make them super consistent. Let's go ahead and talk about our next seal swapping strategy. And this one doesn't use the cursor. If you do not have a fast cursor or you don't want to scroll down with your cursor and, and move it really quickly to get this one, um, you can also use your D-pad. I found out if you go ahead and click your D-pad down while you're in a loot box, it put your cursor away and then it, it highlights the items instead and this one all you have to do is if they do not have a backpack all you have to do is click your d-pad down three times and it will highlight the seal swap and you can just press a so all you do is go up to a box interact press your d-pad down three times and then press a and your seal swap but this strategy also has some downfalls because sometimes they have a backpack so instead of pressing down three times on d-pad you're going to go ahead and have to press four times so that takes a little bit more skill there you have to realize that they have a backpack or not to use this strategy I think some downsides with this strategy though however is that you have to know if they really have a backpack or not if they don't have a backpack again you have to press your d-pad down two times while if they do have a backpack you have to press it down three times and that literally can mess you up as you can see you could also do you have to also do like multiple combinations to do the avoiding so swapping like here i'm jumping and pressing d-pad down and then pressing a again to get the seal swap it's just a lot of combinations to do so this one is great and all but it does take a lot more skill and a lot more thinking when deciding if they have a backpack or not Another downfall is also you cannot practice this one in the fire range. You can only practice it in Battle Royale in, a, in an actual death box because it doesn't work with pressing down three times in a fire range loot box or four times. Now let's go ahead and talk about our last set of ways that we can avoid bullets while in the death box and that is changing your controller settings. So if you change your jump to any of the thumbstick click-ins, it will allow you to jump while in a death box. So all you have to do is go ahead and interact with the death box and then you click in your thumbsticks and that will allow you to jump while in the death box. You can also do this with crouching. This one is great if you use um, click-ins, your thumbsticks to jump or if you use your thumbsticks to crouch. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. These are the many different ways that I know how to shield swap and avoid bullets and get that shield swap quickly in a death box on controller. Comment down below, which one do you use or was there one that I miss? Again, it is vital and foundational that you learn how to shield swap and you do it in your gameplay. It's gonna allow you to be an extremely better player and get the upper hand on your opponent. So make sure you use these strategies when you're on controller. 
again i want to say thank you guys for the love and support i have been getting a lot of support recently and i really appreciate it continue to like comment subscribe and also let me know what you guys want to see in my next videos i catch you later peace